Now, Nikki, first of all, all over those front pages is a picture of, uh, well, the King and the Queen and the, uh, the Duke and the Duchess of Wales. Yes. Well, on, it's on all the uh, papers this morning. It's across the internet. Uh, all looking scrubbed up in their, you know, their finery. Kate there wearing a glittering dress, as per usual. I mean, th this is a kind of usual portrait we see from them at this time of year, isn't it, when they have this annual event. And uh, you wouldn't know that there was anything troubling them. No. <laughs> um, maybe troubling uh, Prince Harry, though. Uh, he finds himself in court talking about his lack of protection, armed protection, in the, in the UK. Yeah. Um, it's funny, they keep him off the front page. Yes, interestingly, isn't it? I mean... The thing is, I actually think their popularity is in the ascendant again. And uh, I think it's a very tricky time for Harry because he has completely lost favour with the British media. They, they really don't have anything positive or encouraging to say. And, you know, he should have technically got sympathy from being in court and saying that his privacy has been breached and all the rest of it. But I just don't think anybody's bothered anymore. Andy, have you any sympathy with Harry? No, I, I, was, I used to be a little bit on the fence about the royals. And the more that the, the British royal family, the ones that have stayed, get attacked, the more defensive I am. I find my, my wife's American and we go to America quite a lot and they're a naturally interested in the royal family. And I felt like before I'd be quite sort of, oh, yeah, a bit sort of eye roll about it. And now I'm passionate defending Charles. I'm passionately defending Kate and William. I'm amazed the words coming out of my mouth, no, not just on this show. And, and I feel really fervently proud of them. Again. Why, why, why do you think... A ridiculous era what do you put the change down to? What, what do you, why do you think that is? I felt like I felt like so much of the criticism, particularly on the Oprah show and, and after that with the Harry Prince Harry book, has been complete nonsense. You know, Prince Meghan, uh, Meghan's concerns about... The, she said that royal family had concerns about the skin tone of the baby. Harry then said that it was nonsense and there was no... It was just the racism was made up by the me media. Yeah, and all this sort of stuff. And I just think, you know, I really appreciate in an era where we've got so many politicians failing to do the job, I, f I appreciate this sort of quiet, dependable service. I know that there's a lot of luxury and nicety with being in the royal family and I'm sure they live a far greater life than I do, but I, I just see William and, ha William and Kate going out and about doing their job and we were talking about him selling the big issue. Well, let's earlier. do that, Nikki. Yeah. I mean, that's a perfect example, isn't it, of what Andy's describing and he was yesterday filmed and actually Kate was out and about as well, but he was really trying to uh, drive home this ambition of his to try and end homelessness. What's the target? 20... Uh, 30 or something he wants to see it yeah back. yes and obviously we know that homelessness has been increasing dramatically in the past couple of years and um, rough sleeping in particular because of covid and the knock-on effect of that yeah i mean this this just really gorgeous picture of him doing something that he's done for a long time actually which is support homeless people he went out and um joined a vendor called dave martin who's a big issue seller and uh yeah they they went and sold the magazine together he's a long time friend of william william spent a long time uh talking to him about what it is like on the streets and how, it, how he manages. And, um, I wonder what it would be like to walk out of the train station or your supermarket <laughs> or whatever and see the big issue. And he walks and up in front of you and he yeah. says, will you buy one? Well, say, we'll buy five, we'll buy six. Exactly. He's so distinctive as well, isn't he? Because I, I mean, I know that he's wearing, you know, kind of civvy clothes and his red hat, but you would know it was Prince William if you saw him. Of course you would. The voice yeah. is a giveaway as well, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder if he modifies his accent when he's selling it. Goes a bit estuary. Yes. <laughs> what do you reckon? A bit more working class, yes. <laughs>